Hey everybody, this is Ernie. I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. In today's tech video, I'm just going to show you a little bit about uh, photo editing. Just, just some very basic photo editing you can do. Two pictures that you take with your phone or with your tablet. Uh, lots of times cameras that are built into these devices now take pictures that are pretty, pretty good to go uh, from the get-go. But sometimes it's nice just to go in and uh, change some things. Uh, maybe you want to add some text to it or you just want to change a picture that came out really bright and you just want to lower it down. Anyway, just kind of those basic uh, things, uh, just how to change them on your pictures. Now there's a bunch of different photo editors in the different app stores. One of the best ones I've found is this one down in the bottom right icon there. It's called PixArt. Uh, it has a few professional options that you can pay for, but for the most part, the, the very basic ones that you would use for your photos uh, just kind of in an amateur way that you're just doing for your own use uh, is right there for you to use for free. So if we open up the PixArt app, first thing you're going to see is just kind of this main menu here. Uh, down at the very bottom, you'll see the plus uh, circled in purple. And when you tap that, that's going to open up uh, for you to open up a picture and begin begin editing it, begin working on it. So up here in the very top row is the photos. It also has videos and other stuff down towards the bottom. So we'll just open up the very first photo here, which is a picture of little Garbanzo, uh, which is a little foster cat that I'm working with right now. So the picture doesn't look that bad, but there's still some things you can do with it just to make it look a little bit better. So down at the bottom, you'll see all the different options that they have for you to begin editing the photo. And the first one we'll go to is just the tools option down there at the bottom. And this has kind of the most basic functions as far as dealing with the brightness of the picture, the contrast, and kind of cropping it, things like that, which is always kind of the first thing you want to do. So if we go ahead and crop it, uh, there's a lot of stuff in the picture that doesn't necessarily need to be there. I have the mat uh, from my back door, and the, that's the food, the, the can I keep their food in and behind them there. So we'll kind of just make little Bonzo the main center of the picture there. So there we go. It already looks a little bit better. Uh, he's a little bit blurry now just because I've kind of uh, zoomed in on him a little bit, but that's also something you can kind of fix a little bit with editing. So we go back to the tools. Uh, when you go to the adjust option there, that's where you can adjust the different levels, such as brightness and con contrast and things uh, for the photo. So since this was taken where he was right next to a window, I can turn the brightness down just a little bit just because uh, it was kind of super bright where I was taking the picture. And then if I go to the contrast and I can kind of turn it up and down and find a nice uh, spot where it's looking pretty good. The main thing to do with these levels is just kind of go through each one and kind of just move the slider back and forth to uh, to something that you just think looks good or it makes the picture look a little bit better, a little bit more what you wanted it to look like. Uh, and now if you, you know, if you move it way too high up, it's going to look a little bit ridiculous. So usually just a little bit is all you got to kind of worry about. Uh, unless you're taking something completely in the dark or something like that. So once you play around with the levels a little bit and getting getting things looking a little bit how you want them, uh, you can just hit apply up in the top right, and that will save the changes that you had made up to that point to the picture. So there we go. It looks a little bit better than the original picture just because now it's kind of focused on on his face and uh, it doesn't have all that stuff in the background and just just looking a little bit better. So there's lots of other stuff down here that you can uh, do. Um, to kind of further further flesh the picture out. So if we hit text here, we can just go ahead and type Garbanzo, which is his name. And then up in the top right, you'll just hit that little check mark, say that's the text I want. And then the text shows up on the picture. Now it's obviously too big, but uh, you can start doing stuff like changing the how big the text is there. Down here at the bottom where it has all these fonts, you can choose a different font, uh, whatever is kind of uh, gonna look good. For what you're going for. Let's see. I'm trying to find one that looks pretty good for this guy. That looks like a garbanzo to me. We can move it up in the top corner here, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. So now we got his name on that. And I can go and add a border, just kind of playing around with things. Uh, Lots of times just playing around with the different options and seeing what they can do uh, can help you make your pictures, like I said, look just a little bit better. Not going to drastically change them like you would with, say, paying $1,000 for Photoshop or anything, but for something that's free in the App Store, 
Uh, I, a lots of times before I post them to Instagram, pictures of my cats, or even before I send them off to people that I just kind of wanted to look at or whatever, I'll play around with them just a little bit just to kind of make it look a little bit better. So once you're done, you can just hit the, uh, the download button up there next to the two arrows, the down arrow, and that just saves it to the actual device. So now it's actually saved the edits that I've done to the picture to my iPad. And that's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, there's a bunch of different photo editors in the App Store. I just chose to show PixArt just because it's free and uh, it's very simple to use. And it has the, the pretty good options for stuff for you to do uh, without getting too uh, complicated. And uh, But if you want, you can, there, there's several other ones you can try in the App Store. Uh, whatever fits your needs. But um, it's one of those things where lots of people just kind of throw their pictures out without doing any bit of editing to them at all. And sometimes it's a little fun to get into it and just make things look a little bit uh, a little bit better. And if I tap on the screen here, it'll actually show me the original and then what we're looking at here afterwards. So, looking pretty good. Hope this was helpful. And uh, anyways, have fun editing your photos. Thanks.